chip carving on tramp art frames looks complicated and in a certain way mathematically it is a little complicated but all the steps are basically very simple steps starting with a flat piece of wood for each level. You mark off your areas in this case uh, I marked it off every half inch and then you cut the V's into between those two marks going towards the center line. Being very careful you want to start with a little dig and then a secondary dig and this will keep you from chipping out and then your final dig which will establish the final depth of the V cut into the side of the, the plate of wood. Once you're finished with those then you can go back in with a single dig or chip you can take out the waste. I'm fairly proficient at this, but it still takes me mm, about a half an hour to do one plate for two feet of molding. And in the case of this frame, I have two plates uh, stacked on top of each other, so um, it's about an hour or so per foot in just the carving itself, not even the putting together or mapping it out. The mathematical comes in that you have to squeegee around whatever your form is. So with these half inches, if you end up with a quarter of an inch that your plate needs to be, then you need to squeegee it around a little bit and take up an eighth inch here and an eighth inch there at each end or so. Once you've cut out the wa major waste, then this is just a matter of going back in and cleaning it all up so that you have clean grooves or clean V's you do your finishing. There will be very little sanding.